So I'm recording three videos today. I'm wearing the same shirt, same hat and everything. And if it bothers you, you can go suck my toe or something. So everybody who has a Nintendo Switch, or actually, you know, over the years, everything that Nintendo has done generally, there's a lot of peripherals and accessories from cases. Uh, look at this. This is actually a dockable case for my brother's Switch. I don't know how durable that is, but you know, some layer of protection is better than none, I guess. In today's, oh wow where it's looking kind of sweaty. But in today's day and age of technology, one of the most important accessories for pretty much every electronical device is a power bank. And if you've seen a few of my videos, I love power banks. So I was just shopping at Marshalls. You guys ever just go to Marshalls or Burlington Coat Factory? Those stores where there's like a little bit of everything. I just get lost in those stores forever. Oh, why am I yelling? And I just like to look through the little knickknacks, uh, aside from the clothes and everything. So probably where I got this cool little Mario shirt. But there's one thing that caught my eye and it was this packaging right here. So it was in the cell phone section so I wasn't really paying attention to it. But then when I saw, a, like when I looked again, I saw a switch on it. And it's a, what is this brand? A TZUMI Sumi? I'm thinking of Zumi. It's a Zumi Pocket Juice Portable Charger 10,000 milliamp battery um, attachable power bank to the switch. I have seen this product at Walmart and I've seen this at Best Buy, and I've seen the price fluctuate between, I don't know, $39.99 to up to $80. So when I saw that this was $12.99, I got two. <laughs> got one for me and one for Sugarberry Smash. So I'm gonna do an unboxing, or kind of an unboxing, overhead view, uh, show everybody what comes in the box and how to attach it. So I just want to emphasize the price one more time, $12.99. Compared to that screenshot from Best Buy, that is a tremendous markdown. So that built-in kickstand that's written right in the front, it is way better than the Switch's uh, built-in kickstand. So here's a few things. Pause right now if you want to see it. Uh, the one I want to highlight is the quick chip chip set, which is a tongue twister, but it kind of regulates from overcharging and all that good stuff. So the underlying theme for this video is to just go out there and check out those discount stores. If you ever come across a Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and once again, they're not a sponsor. I just find good deals from them. Go to the little electronic section where they have little cell phone cases, and you might be able to find one of these things there. I did buy this last week, so check out Marshalls. That little cord is so funny to me. It just reminds me of Zoolander. It's like, what is this? A cord for ants? <laughs> fits in the palm of your hand but that is ridiculous so that is one of the cons for this thing it does charge via micro usb and i just wish everything was type c it would have just been one cord it would have been easier but anywho so that material that this is made out of is this non-slip hardened rubberized plastic yeah you've seen these on a few things before so it's all preference. Some people like that material, some people don't. Uh, I just don't care for it. I don't hold it in my hand when I play it. I put it tabletop mode because it does make the switch really bulky. And, you know, supposedly it does give it another charge or two. I haven't fully tested that, but so far it's charged my switch up one full time and still has some juice in it. And all of us switch owners know that the switch has a horrible battery life. And with that, you just clip it in there, you attach it, and it gets it charging right away. So you see the little indicator that it's charging. Look at that horrible Wi-Fi. And with that said, my lighting setup was not the best today, but there is a power button there so you can control it manually if you want it on or off. So let's take a look at it one more time. I'm gonna flip it over and that kickstand right there, that's one of the biggest selling points for me. It's a really good kickstand. It's a good viewing angle when you play with it on tabletop mode. Yeah, I wish I had two cameras so I can do a dual shot, but uh, I'm not that fancy yet. So one day, maybe one day. So there's one feature that wasn't on the box, but I thought it was cool. So that's how you charge it. And then that's another USB 2.0 port right there. And that's the feature that I want to mention is that this is a power bank and that extra USB port right there actually can charge another device. So here's my old Samsung Galaxy S7. I'm gonna plug it in and show you guys that it actually does work. So it can charge two devices at once. Well, the switch when it's locked and your phone or whatever else you have, a tablet, whatever it may be. So that's everything. The Zumi Pocket Juice Portable Charger that attaches to your switch play while you charge 10,000 milliamp. I'm just reading the box right now. So that's what it all has to offer. And you know, as I've said many times this video, check it out. Maybe you'll find it at a discount store, $12.99. That's a bargain. 
So if y'all didn't know, this is the third video to a little set of videos I posted within the past two days. Check out the first one. It's a Nintendo Switch that I bought from the Wish app. You know, that big bargain website that everybody's talking about nowadays. And the second video is a dockable Nintendo Switch case that I got for that Switch. So I've been on a bit of a Switch frenzy. If there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know. Let me know down. Let me know. Oh, I can't get that. Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye.